Guys, are you wasting a lot of money storing your soft plastics the wrong way? Are they not lasting like they should? Are you getting a lot of heat damage? Are they losing their shape? Losing that electricity? Not really lasting like you think they should? Well, today, we're going to fix that problem for good. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Craig Daniels. This is Rocky Top Splash. So if you like bass fishing videos about how to find, follow, and catch more bass throughout the fishing seasons, meanwhile saving money doing so, this channel's for you. Click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you on future videos. So what are we doing today? Today we're tackling the issue on how to store these soft plastics. You can get a ton of money invested in these things, and if you're storing them wrong, the elements, as soon as water, heat, humidity start getting on these things, it's going to be a nightmare for you. It's going to lose that electricity. It's going to affect the color. It's going to make them brittle. They'll last good for a while in these regular old plastic containers, but there's a better option. The number one way to save your plastics from heat and humidity and water damage is first off, take them out of your boat or whatever you're fishing out of once you get home, store them in your closet somewhere. But if you're like me, sometimes you forget, sometimes you don't feel like doing that. Some of you guys may have $3,000 tied up in, in soft plastics and it's going to be a, a headache to get all that out of your boat. Now, I've been storing them in these regular Plano dividers for a long time. I went out and bought the rust proof from Flambeau. Same thing. Didn't work. Upgraded to the Plano waterproof with the water seal around there. $10 a pop. Those are really good for crankbaits. It does keep out the water. But what I found is if you have thinner type material like a plasma tail worms or a, a standard little trick worm that something that needs to keep its shape or little small paddle tails th these over time the heat and humidity are, is going to change the formation of these boxes and it's going to ruin your lures so the number one thing that I can tell you to do is whatever package your plastics come in try to keep those in that package but also put them in a container that keeps out the elements keeps out the water keeps out the heat and keeps out the humidity like I said before, it's very hard to keep out the heat and humidity. That's why you take them inside your house. But storing them on your boat, what I have found, guys, is what I believe is the best solution for this. Go in your house, hit your wife up, hit your, hit your girlfriend up, hit the kitchen, and go get you some of these storage containers for food, storage containers for the house shoe box sizes they're like two bucks at walmart snap on lids and you keep on you keep all your soft plastics in the original bags and you can cram these things in there as much as you want depending on the size box you need for whatever size compartment you have uh, what i like to do is I like to take a piece of tape and a magic marker right on the top this box right here i know that all my creatures and crawls are in there I also have a box for all my worms and trick worms. You can literally get probably 20, 25 bags in there. A lot of you guys are probably saying, well, why do you not just use those zipper container bags? They already have worm bags. Because once you get three or four of those, they're gonna get scattered out of all of your boat. They're gonna be hard to organize. These can go in the same compartment as your life jackets and all that kind of stuff, or if you have room, in the middle with all your other standard boxes with your crankbaits and all that you're not going to lose this whole box you get one of those little zipper bags 20 bags of those things no telling where they're going to be you have to fumble through there these boxes right here i, can, I know i can open this thing up if i like having them on my net baits together 
bam pick them up i know there's my crawls here's some more crawls oh went ahead and put my other berkeley head pit boss in there i know that all my types of trailers are in this one box saves me a lot of time i don't have to flip and finagle through those bags and save me a lot of money putting them in these kind of containers guys now for you guys that uh, like those hard shell containers like, like your pal tails come in like kitex or eco pro tungsten or bio spawn what i recommend for you guys is plastic bags meanwhile keeping those lures in those original shells get you some ziploc bags with the zippers on on the tops it's going they're uh, thick plastic that's going to give you double protection so i hope you enjoyed this video today if you did give it a big thumbs up share it around really appreciate it and i'll see you guys on the next one until then get out there on the water fish simple and simply catch fish